I'm uh, rocking the fresh new Titan tungsten um, ball cap. It's got this nice like denim finish to it. I didn't want something that was too flashy. I wanted it to be subtle. I digress though. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded. I've been busy. I've been working a lot. <clears throat> Just uh, I've been tired and when I have been fishing I've been trying to um, do some new stuff. Uh, so I've avoided filming a little bit also because I feel like it's annoying to watch these videos in the phone format. But you're going to have to suffer through it for another couple weeks until I get a new phone um, that's compatible with my GoPro. Once that happens, GoPro videos will be coming. The schedule will become more con consistent. Uh, but that being said, i got a couple videos coming in the next week. Um, today, the goal is we're going to try and catch... Um, five keeper bass, which is all bass over 14 inches long. Um, I'm hoping I can get to, I don't know. I kind of want to set a high bar. Um, we'll see how the fishing is. I'm going to start out and say 18 pounds. I'd like to get 20 and I'd like to get one over four. Um, but we'll give it 18 pounds. Um, the weather seems pretty good. I mean, it's, it's fairly warm. It's not hot, but it's fairly warm. It's uh, raining a little bit right now, so there should be a little bit of a topwater bite. Um, it's mostly post-spawn. I think some fish might still be spawning, but um, the spawn is mostly over, I think. Um, anyway, hopefully we can get on some big ones, and uh, I'll see you out in the water. Let's go. There's one. Oh my goodness, he is angry. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. Good night. He hit it like a thunderbolt. Holy cow. This is the derpiest fish. Look at that. He's got freaking horns growing off his head. What in the world? No wonder he's angry. He's deformed. He's got like symmetrical horns growing out of his head. I don't think they're horns actually, but... Alright, go grow to be a big pig. Get rid of those. Jeez, that was the weirdest looking fish I've ever caught. That was strange. <laughs> that was a very strange looking bass. There he is, look at that, what a bite. Dude, that was so cool. Oh wow, he's in dirt nothing in the water. Get up here, bud. Yes, that was epic. He was in like three inches of water and he came out and crushed that swim jig. Look at how he got that. Nice. That was so freaking cool. I'm lucky too because I didn't even feel him bite. I just watched him come out and plow that bait. Dude, that was epic. That's a really valuable clue though because that fish. Oh, let's get a weight on it real fast. Nice. That's like a two. It's not two and a half, it's like two and a quarter. But it's a start, man. That's that's not a <laughs> it's better late than never. Hey, that's all I can say. Better late than never. It's been it's been a grind. I haven't really done a lot of actual casting, so that was epic though. He came out and porched that bait. Alright, here's my scale. Get a weight on this guy. Yeah, he's about two, two and a quarter. Out on the money, 2.16. All right. <laughs> that was so cool. I'll tell you what happened here. Let me get his release on this guy though. Oh my goodness. Sweet. Dude, they're so healthy down here. They are so healthy. He went the wrong way, moron. Oh, there we go. All right, so 2.16. All right, so basically, I don't know if you can see that gap in the weeds right there though. Um, I figured since it was protected, I'd give it one cast. And so I pitched a swim jig in there, and as I was pulling it around, I watched him just come out. And again, this is probably six, eight inches of water max. I watched him just come around and just light that jig up, and then we got him out. Um, but that was super cool. Uh, that was a really cool bite. That was one of the best ones I've had in a long time. Thank <laughs> you. 
got him. Got his butt. That's a stud. That's like a three and a half, four. Thank you. It's like I've caught a lot of those today. No, that's the first good one of the day. I've been hunting all over. I saw him first. He was up under that stump and I oh, really? walked by him, yeah. What'd you catch him on? Uh, black creature bait. He thumped it though. He hit it the right way. It's like three and a half. said I don't care about the environment. Gee whiz. Took gosh darn forever to catch that fish. 297 really? Yeah. 297? Yeah we'll call it 297. Alright. A little bit smaller than I thought. That was a good fish. Alright. We'll be a big pig. Sweet. I overreacted. That fish threw me for a loop. But that was good. Caught on the black and blue bandito bug with Keep that drag nice and tight. There's a fish. Got him. Dude, there's so many of these like male sized bass in here. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Come here. Come here. Now if we could just get one that's got some girth to it. See these little pecker heads, we can catch them all the time. But holy cow, how I think I hooked him in the bone. My like, good night. He is. I heard him getting out. He wasn't coming off, that's for sure. That would be a big thing. On that, don't know. <clears throat> don't know that we're going to get the size I was hoping for down here, but whatever. We'll make it work. Fish or fish, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like catching fish, so. There's another one. My goodness, dude. There are so many of them in here. These little one pound guys. Good night. And they're angry. Stop it. Stop it. Man. Come on. There we go. Alright, good way to be a big pig. Curve plop. Alright. They aren't uh they aren't shy, that's for darn sure. My goodness, they are not shy. They're definitely garden beds. I think they're little fry garters, maybe. I don't know. I just need a female that's that aggressive and I'll be happy. Even if it's like two and a half, three pounds, I'll be happy. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Get up here, bud. Dude, I love catching fish in creeks. That's very cool. All right, Google to be a big pig. That's awesome, son. That is so cool. What a cool place to catch bass. And there's a bunch of places like it in this creek. We're actually going to be doing pretty much a lot of creek fishing today. I'm doing some bass fishing now, right 
obviously. But there's going to be some catfishing and... Uh, and that's the video guys obviously i didn't get to 15 pounds um didn't even get a real big one and fishing's been a little bit off um recently so uh hopefully um next bass fishing video i upload i'll be able to get some some with a little bit more size to it but uh on the whole not terrible you know caught a few fish here and there um I explored some too and that's kind of the thing like i'm still learning the area so it's not like i have all the places i want to fish mapped out already so there's a lot of exploring and not as much actual casting happening in these videos so um just try to be mindful of that yeah like i say tough it out with the videos of being on the phone for right now um i'm gonna get a new phone sometime in the next month or two whenever that happens you'll be getting gopro footage you won't be getting the stupid you know regular stand-up angle from the phone so i apologize for that but um i'm going to be trying to release two videos a week for the next you know for the foreseeable future uh, i've got some diy you know just bass fishing techniques stuff that i'm going to upload on you know a variety of soft plastics on jigs on gear just various stuff if you want to get into bass fishing if you want to do that kind of thing um i'm going to go through all that stuff in a uh, you know whole set of videos i have so uh, I'll be working on that. I got a catfish video coming out later. Uh, it's nothing crazy, but again, it should be interesting. And um, again, I hope to hope to uh, become a little more consistent. Sorry for the break, but um, I'll be uploading more consistently um, now. So uh, I will catch up with all of you later. Have a blessed week.